the White House, the first Medal of Honor awarded since the Korean War is presented by President Johnson to Army Captain Roger H. C. Donlan of Saugerties, New York. It is the first time the nation's highest military award has gone to an individual serving with a friendly foreign force engaged in an armed conflict against an opposing armed force in which the United States is not a belligerent party. This is where the 30-year-old Captain Donlan served in South Vietnam, at Camp Nam Dong, his tall, lean figure familiar to the Vietnamese troops as the commander of a special forces detachment a guerrilla warfare expert advising in the building of an effective and competent Vietnamese army. With his aides, he helped develop defensive positions. On July 6, the communist Viet Cong struck this camp in a fierce pre-dawn attack. In a barrage of enemy mortar shells, falling grenades, and extremely heavy gunfire, Captain Donlan gathered the forces together to beat off the attackers in a five-hour battle. He was wounded four times during the engagement. His government, his mother, and a grateful nation join today in saluting Captain Donlan for his conspicuous gallantry at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty.